and the cube three is allowing me to speak uh, by hardwire and I'm um, even po the possibility to talk with Gabriele by wireless by pressing the button on my side. So when I am pressing the button, I can talk with Gabriele who is now turning the camera to him. So he can show you exactly where he is and what he's doing. Okay, so uh, this is our feature. And uh, what we have here is uh, we have a complete network of wireless. So there is a wireless communication unit that is a range of 50 meters around the, the, the platform. And uh, we have a hardwire communication too. Besides, uh, we have uh, two cameras, uh, analogic camera, the one uh, that you are, we are now using, and then we have another camera on my back uh, that is generally established inside of uh, the biosphere. The way in which we have built uh, the, the platform uh, here is by using a kind of screws uh, that are penetrating the, 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 the bottom of the sea. And on the bottom, and uh, on the screw, there is a, uh, there are tubes uh, supporting panels. Okay, this is a kind of uh, area where we can meet, where we can make an exercise. Uh, that is uh, even a possibility for wiring, as you can see. Gabriele, can you, can you show Gabriele the wiring coming from the surface? We are more or less at uh, 100 meters, 300 feet from the shoreline. And th those cables are carrying Ethernet, uh, are carrying uh, uh, the, the communication, the RY communication, and even uh, the uh, lights, uh, the power for lights, uh, because we can even uh, illuminate the area during the night. Okay, so now let me show you exactly what we are doing here. Okay, now I... Okay, I am moving... Okay, I am moving to the biosphere. Okay. The biosphere, it's a, a approximately a 1,000 liter air. It's a, connected to the bottom of the sea by eight uh, screws, uh, eight anchors. Inside of the biosphere, there is air, okay? And uh, we are now trying to make an experiment, uh, a project, uh, by trying to grow the basil, uh, a vegetable. I'm now going inside of the biosphere. Okay. Just entering inside of the biosphere. It's pretty interesting because it's uh, really another world. Okay, I am inside. I'm saying hello to Gabriele that is uh, uh, surrounding me. Okay, I'm trying to clean a little bit. Uh, okay, so you will see me much better. I hope so. Fabio, how is it going, the communication from the surface? The communication is absolutely perfect and the video is perfect too. Change. Very good, okay, so... Gabriele, can you give me the, phone, the, the camera, please? Uh, I, I am trying to show to the people what we are doing inside of the biosphere. Okay, I am moving the camera out. Okay, this is the uh, area where we keep uh, the equipment uh, for the assistance. Uh, you can see the temperature here. It's a pretty high. It's 28 degrees. And this is the basil that is growing inside of, uh, of the 
uh, of this greenhouse. We have one here and we have more on this side, the second, the third, and then the fourth upstairs. The way in which we have built everything is that to have an assistance area here on the bottom and then to have the seabed on the top side with the illumination of the light that is coming from the surface. Okay, the basil is, uh, has been put on the plant on the ground uh, seven days ago. It was July the fir uh, 31st when we started. So it's approximately seven days that is working. Okay, so this is a pretty interesting experiment that we are trying to move forward. And now I'm going out to outside of the biosphere. Okay, Gabriele. Okay, that's good. We need to be careful, of course, by moving inside. But, uh, okay. How's it going on the surface? Is it okay? From the surface, everything good. Okay. Over. Very good. I, uh, okay, this uh, structure, it's a fantastic place uh, for uh, all animals around because uh, in reality, as you can see, it's pretty flat, it's like a desert. But by building this little structure, we have found that it's becoming like a refuge of a, a, a lot of little animals. I want to show you my friend. This is my friend. It's an octopus. And it's living there since the beginning. So he found that it was pretty nice to live uh, where we are working. Just uh, on the top of our octopus there is the PTZ camera that is uh, capable to be commanded by outside and so we can move uh, the camera by watching all around but now finishing our visit uh, i want to see show you the sea horses structure that we have uh, built uh, in collaboration with uh, the scripps uh, aquarium in uh, San Diego. Okay, let me move, excuse me, but I am trying to move around. Okay. And Gabriele, Gabriele is on the bottom with the camera. Okay, good. Gabriele, are you listening to me? Uh, okay, very good. Okay, can you show Gabriele the sea horses here? Okay. These are the, the little structure that you see has been built by kids. Kids uh, that are spending their vacation in the beach. And uh, the structure has been, is reproducing what has been built uh, in San Diego at the beach aquarium. And this is, we have a, a typical Mediterranean sea horse. Okay. So, it's, a, it's very nice. And it's a perfect system of interaction in between uh, the divers and the surface. And uh, we, we just started. So this experiment it will go on for all summertime. So you know, I hope to see you again in the near future with uh, some more adventure and some more uh, nice uh, image of our beautiful place so say hello to everybody and thanks to gabriele who is now moving back and uh, fabio on the surface and everybody that are collaborating with us in this uh, fantastic adventure okay bye bye and have you a good morning for the people that are in california uh, good afternoon for everybody that is uh, in the East Coast and uh, good evening for people in London and good night for the people in Moscow or in India. Bye bye, bye bye to everybody. Ok, può staccare tutto e sentire come sono andate le cose allora.
eh, deve staccare il, il broadcasting.